Okay, RJ, what are you doing? They're gonna hold the china. They're gonna hold the china. What are we doing in this hole? What are We're we going to China? <laughs> Smart Alec. What is it for? It's for this post. And what is this post for? A trellis. Now we're not on the farm. Where are we at, Trista? At this is Noah. Trista Milliman. Yep. We're at the Noah Can Community Garden, so you might like. We're obviously the garden is yeah. going to bed right now. Yes. There we go. Fall and we're kind of. Yep. But what are some of the things that you grow out here? Because you take it all to the farmers market. Yeah, uh, not the rented. There are some rented right. beds, correct? There are some rented beds, but um, we've got blackberries and asparagus that we take. Um, we do some strawberries. If you look at our um, yeah. We've got some keyhole gardens right here. We do some uh, strawberries. Now the keyhole is the one with the little thing in it, and you put the compost yep, in that and all, thing, and it goes. And they're, they're drought resistant. They're supposedly drought resistant, but um, we kind of do some experiments with them, and we do different things. We've had strawberries in there, but so these are three are keyhole. Yep. And then okay. we've got our butterfly garden, and of course it's way more pretty in the, in the summer <laughs> well but we got to get the trellis in because right. if we want it in then we got to use it and then all these other beds are for people now you've got beds. the hoop house mm -hmm. that you use and what are the pipes that are standing up what are those those, those are worm motels okay so it's kind of like our little grow tower where you put the there. worms and the compost in there and they yep. do their thing right and yep. yours like coffee grounds right yeah we put coffee grounds um food scraps, all that stuff, like vegetable peelings and stuff. Okay. And, and what do we got over that's here? That's one of our outdoor classrooms. We've got two of those. So we've got this one and then we've got yep. one over here with our white okay. board and everything in there. Oh, let's go show them the chickens. Oh well, yeah. Because <laughs> we kind of um, brought out some chickens. Uh, how are they doing? They're, they're actually doing really well. Um, awesome. And there's we compost bins. Gardening classes. We've got our water barrels. Obviously, they need to be higher if we actually want to use them for like a gravity flow deal. But we use them to fill watering cans and stuff like that. The kids have, they're down where the kids can reach them. Yep. Okay, so what is this tall? That is okra that needs to be pulled out. Oh my out gosh. Of. <laughs> okay. Big trees I did not know that. Yep. They get, I did not know that. If they weren't so close together, if you just left one plant in here, it'll get that big around. And Holy cow. We usually now, take a hacksaw. Over there and is it. elderberry? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if that's what it is. But... Or a weed. <laughs> it could be a weed. <laughs> There's some sage hidden in there. Yep. It looks like some dill. Yep. Now, these are rented out, aren't these they? These are all rented out. And usually okay, so. our people are done by the end of October, but some of them, some of them are still digging sweet potatoes out of their beds. So gotcha. we let them go. And they just do whatever. Our, now, along this... this that's asparagus. And okay. And we let that all go crazy and ferny this time of year to just protect it from the cold. We'll go, we'll come back in and we'll cut the tops off and probably burn them in February okay. in time for them to start sprouting in March and April. Now, these are blackberries, but they're special kind of blackberries. What's what's the deal with these? They're the Arapaho variety and they are thornless. And Which like, is what we tried to steal from you that failed right, at our right. garden. They, and they, they get about that big around yes and they're, they're really amazing awesome. and believe it or not i have already pruned these once this fall oh my gosh and they've come now, back and well here's starting. the thing is you didn't start with that many plants and they no. start from there they go all the way yeah. around there and they go back behind the little chicken coop in the classroom one plant per space between posts <laughs> so that's what they do but what's really what i like about them in the fall is their their fall foliage their color is really pretty so they're starting to turn just now because it's finally getting the cold. blackberries and the asparagus are in a different program they you can mm -hmm. farm them from both sides yeah. you don't have to be a member here you yep. can just come and if you're hungry pick you some yep. asparagus or some blackberries get some nutrition and it's called we call it the community harvest so that's called, how we get people involved in the garden if they don't actually garden with us they can still come even if they don't go inside the fence they can still pick on the outside of the fence we just ask them not waste, yes. And, uh, okay, you know, so now this is your chicken tractor. Chicken tractor. Now, what kind of tree is this? It looks that is an apple tree. Okay. And I believe it's a honey crisp apple tree. Awesome. And it's done for the year, obviously. It's done. Well, it's not very big. No, it's um, not the best pruner. <laughs> now, are you going to top it? We're looking at on the farm topping ours so that you don't have them. And it That's says that I they, they, um, 
produce just as much and so if you like top it in February they say that it gets full and short and you still can can get them now some of these actually came from the farm and I'm sure you guys can pick out which ones we've got a little Phoenix hen there and a black oxen and we've got one I kind of snuck a look earlier and a mouse went running I just went like this yeah I just went like this is she is she yep there she is she's busy now what are you gonna do if you have lots of chickens well, we'll just have we'll just have the eggs. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So they're not laying in the little boxes yeah, over are. here. No, they, the feed is over here, and they the, put the straw down for the winter time, and they would rather lay in, in the, the straw. straw. So yep. So they've got a little eggs. ramp to go down, and it's really a cute little chicken yep. coop, right? Yep. So, but uh, anyway, but they've got a lot of things going on out here, and in the summer you run a kids program. We do with the Boys and Girls Club, and then um, we also work with Grand Lake Mental Health. And um, some of the kids that are in the schools, they come out and they okay. they um, take some of the stuff they've been doing in the, the school greenhouse, and they come out here and they do that. So they'll start plants in the greenhouse in February and come out and transplant those in May. And all right, we're gonna go back over and check on RJ and get this trellis in. Okay. So, so we've got one, two, three poles in, and it's coming together quite nicely. And. We've learned one thing about the community garden, and that is this end is easy digging. <laughs> this end is rocky digging. Um, the other ironic thing is that, RJ, who do we think used to own this lot 30 years ago? Homer. Homer Straw. And I think this was his house. We were looking, we knew they tore it down, but they've tore down like three in here, and I think he was the middle one. So, um, yeah. It's kind of funny. We're back at at grumpy old man's grandpa's house to put in a trellis. That kind of sounds cool, doesn't it, Trista? Yeah. <laughs> We're back at great grandpa's house, which would be RJ's great grandpa, right? And he's out here working in great grandpa's yard. Yes, you are. That's awesome. That is awesome, awesome. But... Um, and it, it's definitely easier than when I was doing it by myself because the poles would fall on my head. So, I'm good. Okay, so RJ, we're having to come back to this hole. How come? This hole hates me. Because <laughs> this hole hates me. All right. Um, it's a little off, so we have to move it back. Even all the best planning, just because we just dig four holes. And you got to get them right, and no matter how much you set them up and take them down it just it just happens right <laughs> it's like yeah you say that I'm the one digging it's the last hole right it's not a big deal right. <laughs> and people are just driving by looking trying to figure out what's going on <laughs> one guy waved at us didn't he <laughs> yeah. the neighbors are pretty friendly yep so but all right we're going to set this, and I'm not coming back till we're done. 